I'm here with Doublelift on the at the very end of the LCS first day, and he has just beat Team Eight against all odds. Doublelift, what was that like? Really uphill battle, dude. It just feels great to win as the underdog. More importantly, isn't it great to be doing an interview with me again, like we did, you know, so many times before? I was told to come up the stairs for interviews, but they didn't tell me who until I was already up here. Well, that's how that's how I get you every time. Uh, what what is? <laughs> And we're off to a great start. Uh, so what's been going on? Okay, so you don't have Scar, you don't have Zion, your team is in shambles, and yet you managed to pull out a win. No, what was, the, what was the experience like working with Benny and all that kind of stuff? Well, we didn't know exactly how good Benny was, and we'd only been playing with him for two days. Uh, it was actually probably like four or five hours of actual gameplay um, because our scrim partners had internet issues. So really, we were just going in like YOLO, you know, like it's only the first week, and we were looking more long-term with practicing primarily with Zion and then kind of putting Benny off towards the last two days just to make sure we, he's like on the same page as us. Um, he's like a really adaptable player. He's super flexible and the biggest thing is he's not a carry top laner like Zion is. So we had to get back to that. But we've been playing with non-carry top laners for like two years. So it was really easy to play with him and he has good synergy with Smithy already. And so what I'm hearing is like Smithy's on the chopping block. That's right, dude. Yeah. Or not like Smithy, Zion. Wow, I ruined that joke. Come it's the first day. I saw you make some mistakes in that game. I'm going to make some mistakes do in the I interview. Have to do this yeah. interview now because yeah. you just ruined that joke. Yeah, I know. It's a disappointment. I'm a disappointment <laughs> to all of us. Um, not as disappointing as most of your plays, though. Either way, let's talk about uh, what your team is in a strange place because you can't ever, there's never, you've just been in fluid in this flux state forever where you've got like Think Card and you've got X Smithy and you've got Benny and you've got Zion and you've got Skara. And then who's, who's your like coach sub in right now? Um, Zix, Tony, he's our coach, and people always say he looks like Man Cloud yeah. before he walks on stream, but he's his own man. Yeah. And he is our standing over there. Standard coach at the moment. Uh, he's, been, he's been working on this for a really long time as an analyst, and uh, he's been, you know, working towards making sure, like, we're all on the same page with, in terms of picks and bans, like, while we're on stage. And if somebody throws a curveball at us, then he's uh, pretty smart about picks and bans as well. So that's his primary job. How are you working around the SCARA situation? In terms, of, is he like, there, is he, you go home and now you talk to him or what? Yeah, Scar is really good for macro strategy and like interpersonal stuff. So he makes sure everyone doesn't like hate each other and we have good relationships with each other. But also um, his knowledge of the game is like super, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Thorough. He, he knows like everything about every lane because he's just like a really curious guy. That's his personality. So when we talk to him, it's really helpful. He always has like great insight and he... I will ask a lot of good questions. He's not one of those coaches that's like, I know it all. He, he will ask us questions, and we will give him um, our opinion, and he'll be like, oh, okay, well, have you ever thought about this way? And yeah, I really like working with Scar, and yeah, we, we generally talk to him mainly. He's the head coach at home, but then on stage, uh, Tony's like the stand-in. Yeah. During the, the break, uh, you guys, uh, well, did, what did you do? I want to know, because you and I haven't spoken in a long time, especially during this, in this kind of manner in front of a camera. We're getting, oh. getting told to scoot, yes. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, very, very subtle of you to address that. Anyway, uh, what, you, know, you haven't t spoken in front of a camera for a while, so what was the break like for you? Did you get any free time? Did you do anything interesting? Um, I had exactly 10 days vacation, and then I came back to the house, and I just started practicing because, like, this season I've definitely been practicing harder than any other season. Um, I'm pretty tired of losing, pretty sick of losing, and it's, like, kind of our, like, last hope, you know? It's like a three band of brothers, like me, Lincoln, Afro, Banana for a really long time. I've been at it the longest by far, and... I just want to not suck for once, you know. I just want to like take first and go to Worlds and just show everyone that I'm still good. Because yeah. um, I think everyone just hates CLG right now. And it's been, it's been a like, long time coming, honestly, you know, because CLG's been a big brand. And um, we haven't like fulfilled like a lot of things that we said, you know, like we're going to be good this split, we're going to be good this split, we're going to be good this split. And it's been, it's been a lot of splits where we haven't been good. So um, I, we just want to let the results speak for themselves. And it's really unfortunate we can't play with Zion. We got... I guess handicapped uh, at the start of this big race in the spring split, but hopefully we can end it strong. Well, there are so many people standing here ready to go home, yeah. so I will let them do that. But we'll we'll talk again later at some point in time. Do you have anything that you want to say to any of the fans out there? Um, yeah, thanks for sticking with me, and thanks for sticking with CLG for so long. Uh, it's been a hard road, but this year I'm going to put in everything I have, so hopefully we can put up results instead of just talk about how great we are and then suck. I've heard, also, I've heard that before. Yeah, I know. I know. It's just, I'm sorry. What can I say? But, uh, yeah, shout-outs to our sponsor. 
It's plural. Um, is that Z? <laughs> Cellucor Razor, I by Power, Twitch, uh, NZXT, Law Class, and SanDisk. Boom. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, just perfect. And uh, for everyone else, you can check out the rest of our coverage and probably more terrible interviews with me at Doublelift over the course of this split and more at OnGamers.com.